Boy, that always gets me. <clears throat> Man, since I pulled into this gate earlier today. Oh, that always gets me going to that uh, Shift 4 in X-Plane. Wow. Hey, welcome into Flying with Mike. <clears throat> We're sitting on the ramp in Dallas where we left it off. And folks... Um, I know my European folks that were watching earlier won't be able to catch this one, and I do apologize. First off, the wife is fine. No broken bones, no broken this, that, or other. Just uh, overworked. Uh, she injured her hand last week, or arm, and uh, the overexertion with a rambunctious... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My voice is trying to run away. Uh, with a rambunctious two-year-old... And a couple of dogs, well, just kind of exacerbated it a little, just need some rest. So the wing will heal, as they say. Heal, I should say. But anyway, welcome in. We are going to fly that second flight that I really wanted to do earlier. Now, I was going to try something earlier. Well, <laughs> we'll try it on a different uh, sequence of flights. I was going to try to shut the uh, video down and then restart it to do as a second video. Okay, well, this is another way to do that. <laughs> so, as we find in simming, there's a lot of ways to do some things. Same thing here. But again, we're on the ground in Dallas Love, not Dallas Fort Worth. So the airport's a little smaller, more compact. We're going to the other airport in Houston. The Hobby Lobby Airport. I mean, Hobby Airport. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I have fun with that. Uh, kind of shocked they never picked up on that name or the folks over at Hoobie Looby or Hobby Lobby uh, decided to uh, not give up that copyright. Unless, of course, probably given a hefty fee that Southwest couldn't afford. But anyway, we are there and getting ready to go, folks. We are in stand uh, 13 where we left off at. And uh, you know what? Why don't we uh, get into the office here and uh, see what kind of damage, I mean, uh, what kind of a flight we can have today. All right, folks, we're up in the uh, office area now. Uh, let me just uncage this uh, gyro. Thought I had done it earlier, but, uh, you know, that's what I always get for thinking. You'd think I'd have learned that in the military, but uh, glutton for punishment. <laughs> and welcome to Hawk is here, Hawker 125. Hope you got your z ready to go, because we're firing up gate 13. All right, speaking of which, prior to getting fired up, let's make sure we are powered up. Looks like it. All the uh, instrumentation looks good. Battery switch on, standby power. Uh, let's go ahead and put the fasten your seatbelt sign on, fuel pumps off, trim airs on, recirculators are on, isolation off, and the bleeds are on. I can tell you right now, we are not headed to 37,000. 31,000 is the uh, goal. We'll put 32 in for the uh, altitude. Uh, and Hawker, you can fire up your ACDC music because we got to switch the ACDC switch to ground power. <clears throat> All right, folks, we are ready to board here. So uh, let me pull that message off. And let's get ready to fly. <laughs> you thought I was going somewhere else, didn't you? All right, real quick, let's do this up top. Looks good. Cut the guard down. All right, so if we go past the speed of sound, we know it by the tweets, not by the booms. And the stall works. Okay, all of these look good. Let's go to a line and a line. Seven minutes on the clock. Folks, as I said in the earlier stream, this is something that took quite a while for me to learn. I did not know this because <laughs> that was always baffling to me. How long is it going to take the IRS to align in the 737, the 777, I think it was, maybe the 747-400 as well? And I didn't know it was as simple as taking this outer switch from PPOS to heading status to find that out. 
yes, folks, that's six minutes to alignment. Long time. I did not know that. I'll bet every bit of five years. So, and I've been flying the PMDG version, the one you got to pay for, over in Musfus since century of flight, folks. So we're talking at least 15 years. So, uh, yeah. And, oh, by the way, this one's free in next plane. It's called Zebo 737. You're probably going, oh, my God, this looks just like PMDG. Yeah, it is, folks. Oh, except one, one big difference. It's free. Let me say that again. It's free. I wish I had that way for it to echo. But anyway, um, yeah, that's the big difference, folks. And to me, a huge difference. Costs way too much now with PMDG and everything you got to buy to be. It just, whoa. Anyway, another dime for that. All right, so we got the IRS aligning. Let's continue with the checks real quick. The cabin and the utility. Uh, sorry, cabin utility and IFE uh, seat are on. The equipment coolings are normal. Um, exterior lights I have set my way. Uh, as we went through earlier, Boeing really does play with... Uh, um, Private pilot minds. Okay, the words they use here do not mesh with what we f we knew back in our Cessnas, our Pipers, and our um, Beechcrafts. Again, if you missed, if you were here for that, sorry, we're going to have fun with it again. Uh, we called the strobes on the wings anti-collision lights, and the red beacons on the tail. I think yeah, that's the only place they were on the tail. Rotating beacons. No, 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 no. Not in Boeing. No, no, they don't work that way. Your anti-collision light is the rotating beacon from Piper, Cessna, and Beechcraft. The strobe are strobes. Yeah, I know. They got to really, you know. So if you got all your time flying bush up in Alaska in a 207 and you come to this plane, okay, let me turn on the anti-collision lights. Why don't I see strobes? <laughs> Boeing just loves to do that. Boing. Anyway, um, I am actually not sure. I have not checked Hawker if ATC is up, but uh, we will here momentarily. All right, so I have had too much fun here. We're going to move on. So the uh, lights are set. Um, window heats are set and on, and uh, we're ready to put in the IRS position and reference point. Clear that off. And, oh, clear it off there. Okay. All right, let me zoom a little, just so you all get a better look at this. The sun is playing havoc again with us. That's okay. All right, so we're in the 800 current AirNAC. Uh, May 17, folks. Mark your calendars. That's when we update them again. All right. We are at KDAL. D-A-L. Boing. Okay. And next page. We are still today, which is an odd day. So we go with the left GPS. If it were tomorrow, we'd go with the right. In my book. Everyone has their... Okay, did I forget to put them in nav? I sure did. There you go, folks. That's how you tell if they're not in nav. If this is not here, guess what? <laughs> There's your sign. All right, so route. We'll put KDAL in. Then KHO. KHO. Some would say that is true about Houston. But anyway, um, <clears throat> and that's all we need to do at the moment. So we're going to go back up to the top, finish up the upper panel while we get the alignment continued. Probe heats are off. Anti-ice is off. Um, engine hydraulics are set to on. However, they're going to stay in fault because the engines aren't running. The electrics, the... Uh, 
as they call well no they call them electric hydraulics are off and again you got the warnings there's your current door situation the main door the um two baggage doors are open and then continuing down all right um while we're at this point let's get over here and start putting in our weight and balance our payload for today I believe 36,000 and we'll get to sim toolkit here in just one momentio All right, and we'll go back one. Oop, that was not the one I wanted to go back to. We're just going to wait for it all to do its magic and see if it gets to the right numbers. And it did. Zero fuel weights, 131.043. Payloads, 36,000. However, the fuel, incorrect. We need it brought up to 13,277. Enter. Okay. We got about 6,000 or 5,000 to go. Alrighty, so let's get that fueling started. And while we're fueling, good time to go over to Sim Toolkit. Houston Center is up. Oh, well, we'll, uh, we'll think about it. We'll see if we're going to fly online. I think we might. Alright, so Sim Toolkit. As I said earlier today, folks, outstanding utility here. A lot of stuff for both streamers and non-streamers alike that you can see real quick at a glance right in front of your face instead of having to have a gazillion windows open. Even though I still have a gazillion windows open, it really helps. All right, so here's a quick glance at our flight plan. Ramble 6. To Il Ilver, to Neil, and we're coming in on, on the kids for arrival. Got all that? Good. There'll be a test afterwards. All right. So here's our routing. Here's one of the neat tools you can add. Navgraph and Sky Vector. Sky Vector, another free one. Navgraph, you got to pay for with your FMC updates. It's actually not as bad as you think. And uh, you get not only your FMCs up to date, but you get the latest, greatest charts worldwide. So if, now, if you're just stuck in the U.S. and you don't want to cross over into Canada or Mexico or anywhere else for that matter. Okay, Sky Vector works. Well, why do it then? But if you want to go to Europe, Australia, Africa, even, well, I haven't checked Antarctica, so I won't swear to them yet. Um, folks, there's not a bad price for all of that to have it at your fingertips. Because I'm here to tell you, they are very hard to find sometimes out there. Up-to-date charts. All right, but that's not what we're... Fuel is all loaded up and you are good to go. Oh, thanks for flying with Mike there, Mr. Fueler. All right, weather out of Dallas. Winds 100 at uh, 5 gusts to 14. Uh, pretty decent day. Scattered layer at 25,000. Funny thing is, on the way in... The METAR, when we left Omaha for Dallas, broken at 19,000. No other cloud levers with Virga. So, yeah, uh, from 19,000 to the ground, yeah, it would be kind of tough for that to be a solid, moist cloud. It wasn't. There was nothing when we came in. All right. <clears throat> so, that looks good. Down there in Houston, looks like we have a ATIS up. Let's take a look at that real quick. So, who are, oh, this is Houston. So ILS, now they've switched me to the 1-3s. Uh, winds. Uh, okay. Yeah, when I checked, I actually checked with Houston Real World. They were on the ILS-4s. 
but it was like this where you could go either way. One threes will get us in quicker. Why not? So, uh, one three right. Uh, let me check that over here. And the, and the interesting thing is, folks, one three right and runway four, they're both exactly the same length. 7,600 two-foot runways. So, I mean, it, you're not gaining anything with more runway or less runway. They're both just as challenging. Okay, well, we'll do it. One, three, right. Okie dokie. All right, today's loadout. More people are daring to fly with Mike and sign their NDAs that if I uh, uh, perform as normal, they won't sue me. Um, 36,000 for the payload, and the zero fuel weight today is 131,000 pounds. Fuel, just over 13,000 or almost 13,300 Dispatch must have heard me this morning. They've become more um, nice to us and gave us a cost index of 33. And we're allowed to go up to 31,000 on this 250-mile run, 300-mile run, something like that. So, yeah, I think we can make it. All right, there you go, folks. One last look before we say hasta la viga. Maybe to some toolkit for now. All right. As we know, the fuel is finished. So let's continue down to putting uh, the uh, route and all in. Shall we? Uh, back up top. As we get ready to kick over the APU. Uh, probe heat, anti-ice engine, fuel pumps are all off. Uh, trim air right here is on. Recirks, I'm sorry, first off, the cabin controls are in auto. The recirculators are in auto. Isolation is auto. Bleeds are on. We need light. There we go. Uh, engine bleeds on. Okay, so let's uh, get the fuel in. We did. Cruise altitude set. Uh, 500 feet will not work for Houston, I don't think. That'd be a nice little plateau there on. 46 feet sounds better. So we'll set that to 50. <clears throat> All right, fasten seat belts. We'll get that turned on now because we're going to about to let the people on. While I'm doing all of this fun work, let's get over here, get the flight attendants working. And all right, let's kick that APU over so we can cool the plane down before we let the peeps in. Oops. All right, we're going to have to come up here. Oh, I put the taxi light on. Er, wrong button. Okay, give it a few seconds. She'll start spooling up here. Maybe. There it goes. And once it's spooled up, folks, we'll turn the APU generator on and then the bleed air on and come off ground power. <clears throat> So I hope y'all are enjoying the stream. If you're new to the stream, hey, uh, and you like what you hear, smash that follow button. I know you've seen it a couple times up there. Uh, we really like you to follow along. We go back to South America on the next run, which is scheduled on Thursday. I don't know how my schedule is going to look for Wednesday when I'm off because I've got to stay late at work. Okay, the bleed is on. The heat is on. Probably is in Dallas. Um, anyway, and now, again, Hawker, the ACDC music. Going to Gen 1. Alright, so we are now set to put all the data in. 
and I just got told by the flight attendants they are done please let the people come aboard so there we go all right so we are aligned so let's go back up here real quick you don't see that time anymore you actually see a heading 357 and a status code 24 I'll be honest I don't know what that means and we'll just come back to position and there's what you're used to seeing all right back down we'll zoom in like we did before and finish this up okay so this is gonna be uh, let me take a look down there Woo. The South came alive, holy mackerel, all the way from Houston to Jacksonville. All right, everybody's aboard, so one, uh, three, five, okay. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's get our flight plan on board. Oh, Memphis just came on, I saw. Or they were on. I just happened to catch them. Southwest 27. That'll work. Um, da -da 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 -da. Make sure everything's filled in. Zero. Ooh, we're not going to make that, I don't think. Nope. We'll go 45. We're going to be about 15 minutes late out of here. Everyone's going, yeah, it's normal for the airlines. They're never on time. <laughs> I was out of the gate earlier today, five minutes early. So then. <laughs> All right. So there we go. On file and connecting. Did I say we are 27? 738. Connect. All right. And we are coming online again. Spot 13. We're going to show a couple other neat little things about uh, good old uh, uh, Navgraph Charts uh, version 8 here in a minute. But for now, let's uh, get this uh, continue to get started. All right, so we got our basic information. We now know we're southwest. Two, seven. We don't have a company route. We don't have a runway as yet. And I'm going to just leave that there, Hawker. Next page. All right. Oh, where's my little cheat sheet? There it is. Okay, so I need Elv Elver. E-L-L-E-R. Get your do-rags out, guys, because it's really stressful to fill this one in today. Whew, that was a lot of work. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. We're going to have to take a 30 minute break here. Oh, I. Ugh. <laughs> All oh, man. All right, so departure. Love traffic, Southwest 2215. It's departing on a 13 right, love. And 13 left. Which star was it? Ramble. Six. Let's see if it matches. Rable six Elver Execute Because of how close we are, I am gonna go ahead and go with one three right. Makes no sense not to. Uh, but do I want let me take a look at something here before I uh, continue. Uh Houston do not have a problem. back to flights. I know why it went to fours. Cancel. Change runways. Alright. Now approaches. I'm 
What runway were we thinking? One three right. Okay. Uh, final. I thought there was a different one out there. Hang on a second. We are gonna put a runway to this. This is the what I'm doing here. Let's filter this to one three right. Oh wait, that was runway four. Disregard. I was thinking that runway four had the other uh, transition. Eco, I think it was, or something. Yeah, gecko. And that would put us in there, yeah. So ILS go final. All right, and there we go. We'll be pry vectored long before. All right, so that'll work. Transition just to see if there is any jabs is the only one. All right. Okay, so now we'll go back to route. Departure, arrival, Houston. Um, um, where was it? Kids. Is that the right one? Hang on, because I think it says something different. Yeah, kids four. Okay. Kids. Neil. Neil. ILS 13. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. All right. So we've got the route in here. We go up here, put this on map. Bump it up one. All right, let's check this and see for a few things. Okay, now we are going to be vectored. Probably I'll vector us to Ramble just because I really don't want to get close to Dallas. Um, okay, so we'll come down the Ramble. Uh, let's see. I would do this a whole different way, folks, but because these aren't pop-ups, you got to deal with it as you can. Okay, there's Express, Ramble, Adia looks good, Alver, that all looks good, Neil, and everything's looking good, and then from Cease, Seuss, however you want to pronounce that, Seuss, okay, we then vector to Jabs, okay, or Sooner depending how approach wants to run us. All right, piece of cake, folks. All right, step. Coming down, everything looks good, and our missed approach out to VUH. Unlike the Airbus products, folks, when we do that init uh, um, plan or whatever it's called, we don't get that secondary run to our alternate, which is Austin, Texas, and the routing for that so maybe in the coming years I, I don't know if uh, the 737 did that or not so I really don't know it probably does don't get me you know I'm not at all trying to slight the aircraft it probably has capability it's just uh, the Zebo guys just haven't put it in all right, so let's go back to map, and we're set. All right, um, so we've got the plan set up. Now, let's get in here and start doing um, the initializing. All right, so the zero fuel weight, 131, zero is correct. We loaded uh, 13,003. A 13,002. Okay, and that equaled out. Our reserve is 7.3 uh, today. Cost index 33. Double checking. Yes. Cruise altitude 310. And our winds are 279. Average cruise winds. At 44. Execute. Next page. Oops, not next page. Back. And one limits. Okay. As I said today, this is probably where it gets a little difficult. Some simmers don't even touch.
touch this. They just blast out of here because uh, they don't want to deal with trying to figure this out. Well, again, now this is a payware product, folks. It's called TopCat. And uh, it really, and it works in conjunction. Uh, well, it can work standalone, but you can bundle it with Professional Flight Planner X. X does not mark the spot for it being X-Plane only. Matter of fact, it is primarily FSX that developed that the product was developed around, prepared a little. I do not know if it even, how it works with, uh, with the new uh, Microsoft's uh, three-year-old Microsoft product. Uh, but I use it because the data is, you know, you can manipulate it enough in the aircraft profiles that you can get pretty close. This morning's flight went, I mean, almost you know, number for number, it was only off by just a little. So let's bring that in here. Oh, I do have it set up. Uh, that's why. All right. Let me uh, set it here. And let me, oh, I'm going to have to move it. All right. Oh, wrong way. Let's go this way. All right. There we go. Okay. The good thing for us is most of this is not used. The numbers are what we use for the most part. So that helps us in being able to see it here, see the see both items. Okay. So what you do here, folks. Okay, so we've set our flight up, we've come over. We've got our zero fuel weight matching. We've got our fuel numbers matching. And again, they were only off by 100 pounds, I think, 200 pounds, something like that. So now we go to landing. I'm sorry, takeoff. It always helps to take off before we land. If we do it in reverse, it, it kind of looks ugly. Um, at KDAL, we're taking off on 13 left. That's our plan. So we're going to click update. Okay, so we got a wind 107. We knew that already. Temperature of 23, so forth. Once you have this set up, once you have your runway set up the way you want, I always go optimum and optimum, so it will choose the best scenario, if you will. Click Compute. All right, <clears throat> not looking good for us folks uh, here. We're looking at a lot of runway aid on takeoff. Well, when you got an airplane full of people, that's a good bet. No matter how far you're going, you're going to eat up the runway. Okay. The goal in this whole thing, folks, we don't want to take off. We don't want to climb at 100% power. You're all going, what? Yeah, you don't want... It's fine. The aircraft's fine. The military does it all the time. That's why their engines are always getting overhauled long before they ever get to the right time. But if you, what we call derate or take off uh, under different uh, parameters, for instance, TO1, TO2, you're derating the thrust coming out of there, meaning the engine isn't working at 100%. But in the case, if we go with 34, 91%. And these are all TO2 numbers. If I went TO, uh, TO, we'd be right at 100, if not above 100%. And I know your engineer is going, you can't go higher than 100%. I'm telling you. Well, don't talk to the nuclear reactor subs. Dallas traffic. 2604 departing to the north on runway 36 right Dallas okay so we're gonna trying to think do I want to push this yeah we're gonna push it we're gonna do a TO2 so we're gonna go TO2 right here and then uh, 34 I think it was yeah 34 so type 34 now, same thing with climb. Now, if we need to get up because we have climb restrictions in place, 
then we don't want to do a climb too because again power's back we want to be climbing steep so here let me take a look real quick at our departure i don't think we have such animals but you know i have been told uh above five thousand below nine we're coming off one three i'm gonna go with climb one because we're going to go direct ramble and we got to be above 10,000 feet at that point. Climb may even be. All of this also saves fuel, which is probably the number one expense. Second and probably a very close second to the wages expended on a flight to the crew members. So um, they're also doing that for that reason too. So we've got it set. TO2, 34 degrees, climb one instead of two. And what'll happen is when we reach a point in the climb where the power reaches that which would be switch be for climb, it switches into climb and continues on to cruise. Same thing if it was in two. When it reached that number for one, it switches, you can watch it just change over. Pretty cool. Um, all right, so we got that set. Let's go to the takeoff page. And again, many streamers don't go to page two. Takes, they say it takes way too long. Really? Runway wind. Uh, where's Top Cat? Isn't it 100 at 7? 100. Diagonal 7. Slope here. That I don't know off the top of my head. And you can skip the slope. Uh, up one. Let's see if I remember. I think it's up zero point one. Oops, slash. And the runway heading here is one tree tree. Now, in past sims, the slope was not there. So it really wasn't needed. But you could still do the slash in the runway heading. I got it wrong. I know what it is. About up U zero point one, and if this doesn't work, guess what? We're going to do it the old way. Uh, what was it? One three three. There it goes. So it's U zero point one slash one three three. Pretty simple. There's your select temperature. There's your outside temperature. These are negotiable. I don't touch them. They're fine. Thousand feet's fine. So then we go back to page one. Click the line select there, 19%. We're good to go. And uh, folks, how long did that take me? Oh, a couple breaths. Anyway, um, and we're going flaps five here. Bam. All right, let's see how close we got. Uh, 141, look at that, it's right on V1. Rotate. Is it seriously saying? Hold on here, folks. <laughs> it sure is. Rotates quicker than... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. Let's go 140 for V1. <laughs> 140. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even know how it would take it. I've never done that before. 146 V2. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm sorry. That just cracks me up. Now, if you don't want to see these QRH speeds, right here it says select off. Okay. Off. There they go. And that's it, folks. We're done. We're ready to go. Uh, real quick uh, with that, I uh, want to make sure I didn't miss anything. APU is up and running, correct? Yes. Okay, bleed is on. Yes. Okay, real quick here in the middle. Flight director's on. Uh, okay, we got our speed, which was 146. So we'll set 156 here. I go V, the V2 speed, which is what you need to clear a 50-foot object. Could be in play here. 156. Runway heading 133. 
And per the departure, looking for any signs of an initial climb, 3,000. I don't know if we have ATC, but let's start it, and as soon as we're airborne, we can start dialing up. All right, folks, we are set, ready to go. Uh, real quick, getting uh, Mac Air fired up. And, folks, another real good plug here for Mac Air. They are a really good bunch of people. Um, great software. They're in the process of testing, beta testing, uh, a new uh, ACARS program. And uh, I'd like to get involved, but uh, they've had some issues, which you expect. That's what beta testing is all about. I don't want to run into those and hang up a stream because of it. So my apologies to Mac Air. I'm jealous watching you guys do it, on, especially when Mac Captain Mac goes out on video. But uh, hey, he uh, great airline, and uh, uh, you can find him here and make your own call, folks. All right, so we go up to company bids, Dallas to Houston, to Hobby Lobby. Fly the bid. Go to the Pyreps, and... Oh, I am going to need the route this time. Okay. Got it. Okay, so loading the plane. Oh, wait, we can't load. Got to have a plane to load the plane. All right. Uh, let's get down to the 800s. Uh, United. Because Southwest is not far off after it. There it is. Oh, oh, wrong one. There we go, load. Got a hundred, that's kind of funny. We, it loaded what we loaded on the flight this morning. All right, and V, off, start. Okay, so we've got the ACARS program running. Let's continue on here real quick. Uh, everything else is off, okay. Speed brakes up, flap, or speed brakes are down, flaps are up, and we need to get some light on the subjects down here. Can't read this panel very much. There we go. And radios. All right, we'll get that set here in a minute by going here. Why aren't they lighting up? Am I missing something? Oh, yeah, I am. Forgot this one. A little better. All right, so... We're uh, ready to push back. And start levers are there. Go to uh, TARA, put us on there. And uh, we are ready to push, folks. Last check, we are okay. Get the uh, ground power disconnected. And they're closing the main door.
All right, we got to get better pushback rolling. Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. As soon as I see it out there, we'll release the chocks and we'll be ready to push, folks. Okay, he's there. Now, for those <laughs> who are kind of going, what the heck was that on the screen? Whatever's on the other side of the building there, folks, for glass, that's what we're looking at. When I first parked in here, I thought something went wrong with my graphics card. All right. Looks like the doors and hatches are closed. <laughs> Come and we're to find that out. All right, push back, ready. Get the engine set. Okay, system B. On. Fuel pumps on. Any collision lights already on. Position lights are steady. Auto throttle. We will keep off until we're at the runway. And uh, we are ready for pushback. Aircraft's lifting the nose up where the tug is. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pins inserted. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Alrighty, straight back, please. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. All right. Okay. Oh, I forgot to pull the jet white. Oh, well. Okay. Must have the packs off to start period there is no discussion on that folks if they're not you won't so we're going back we're going to go ahead and kick over number two first now it's not like airbus where you just go down here and flip the fuel switch no you have to click it here At 17% N2 to 25%, you can begin move the switch up to idle. Then you're going to see your fuel kick in, EGT kick up, and one's kicking up. So everything begins to dial up. And basically, what I commanded it to do was get past this taxi line and then we're going to go out believe it or not southwest does this a lot just about done here go ahead and set your parking brake okay parking brake set and we're disconnecting the tow give me just a moment okay engine stabilized so now we'll go ahead and bring on number one same time i'm going to go ahead and put the generator online Okay, we're at here we go I'm not sure which side he's gonna be on Right side, okay. Check one three left. Roger, right side. Thanks uh, for flying with Mike. Okay, we'll see if I'm in a good position. I may have to come forward. Left field traffic, sorry. Hobby traffic, uh, no. Nope. Luckfield traffic, southwest uh, 1435 is on final for 23 left at Hobby, at Luckfield. 
Know the feeling. All right, so we're fired up. <clears throat> you got it. I'll get it eventually, right? All right, with the engines started, earlier today, so. uh, gens need to come on first. Yeah, right now I'm doing an ATR hop. I'm going down to Hobby. <laughs> okay, Pax. Oh, wait a minute. Hopefully I'll be there sometime before midnight. Yeah, you should. Don't forget your gun slot. Okay. Lead off. ACDC switch to Gen 2. Okay, and uh, Pro Pete's on. All hydraulics are on. And uh, we're ready to taxi, folks. One thing I do like to do here is, uh, and it's one thing I wish the Boeing uh, company would have helped us a little bit with I don't know and, and, and again once you fly this plane a couple of times you, you you're in that groove but I like how Airbus still puts the uh, trim number here so you can set it right to it here you got to kind of hee-haw around and guess where six is you know so anyway that's just my little you know it, it's just something they could fix Okay, we're just checking our surfaces, as you heard. Gust locks are a huge problem with a lot of planes. Several uh, GA aircraft, uh, biz jets especially, went down because pilots, well, they got in a hurry. And found out with the uh, elevator lock, they couldn't get off the ground. Go figure. <laughs> All right, with the engines running, I'm going to go ahead and try. Do my best here. Set to six. Put this back to engine. For takeoff, we've already got our timer going. Go. Turn in left base. Only one three left at yeah. 2,500. Up about a 15 mile final. Go slow. Brakes off. Taxi out. One three left. Love traffic uh, southwest 27, taxiing 213 left. sure the flaps end up at five while we get the lights on. Oh, we had the lights on. Huh, interesting. I don't remember turning them on. Flight control issue is because the yaw damper is on, is off. Hey, everything's clear. We're on our way, folks. All right, well, let's see. I got a Southwest out there. Let's see if he runs into the same trouble we did earlier. Selected the ILS for 13 left. Oh, I'm sorry, correction, RNAV, which lined us up for 13 right. Had to do a sidestep. Kind of fun. All right, so we'll arm the throttles. On, on. And auto brake is reject. Uh, turn off lights. ATC. We get that set now. One more. Okay. And VNAV, RNAV, lower display, blank. Okay. 
Okay, folks, we are just about ready to go. Cabin's ready. I'm not sure what he said he's flying, so... 10 mile final, we'll... Field traffic, Southwest 1435, is done and clears left field. Okay, and I think we are ready to go, but I don't see him. I do have somebody. Here, let's. No, we don't have to hold here. It's not an instrument day. But we have to hold here. Okay, brakes are set. Go ahead while we got a few seconds here before takeoff engine starts to continue. Uh, position lights will go to strobe when we enter the runway. And uh, reject takeoff. ATS is set and ready. And LNAV, VNAV set. Lower ECAM is blank. He has a five mile final, so respect will hold. Look, Hill traffic, so those 3137, five mile final, runway 13 left, left field. And Love Field, Southwest 27, holding short, 13 left for arriving traffic. Okay, am I on the wrong? I'm on one three right. Disregard Southwest twenty seven. Just realized I'm holding short thirteen right. Be departing. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Strobes. They're on already. We're gonna be doing a rolling takeoff, folks. Go. Got everything off up here, right? Yep. Hey. All right. All right, folks, we're going to do a quick uh, run here. Okay, we're good. Timer started. Throttles up. Okay, stable going. Got to set those with Mac B1, here. B1, rotate. Positive rate.
All right, 1, we're going to get on the autopilot here to help us out real quick. Roger, cleared up to 31,000. Southwest 27. Okay, going to flaps one. All right, let me get down here real quick, flaps up. Legs, ramble, execute. Okay, we are climbing out, folks. Let's see. Start switches are set. Auto brakes off. Flaps up, retracting the uh, lights at uh, 10,000. And uh, we are on our way, folks. All right, so I hope you've all had a great Monday. Uh, we're getting ready to go into the second day of the week, folks. Hey, we're getting closer to that weekend. Um, as I had some fun earlier today, it is 10, May 1st. 10,000. So just realize, many of you are going, my gosh, this year is flying. Yeah, it might be. Um, considering we're already getting very close to the halfway point, uh, got one more month to that, folks. So, uh, yeah, to me, it's going like all 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 of them do. And uh, look forward to every day. So, yeah, going to be halfway over. Yeah, we're going through a little bit of a normal chill that we have here in St. Louis. By chill, I mean, you know it's not down below freezing but it gets a little chilly still at night but you know this too shall pass and we'll be going oh, i wish we had those colder temperatures but um then you'll all be going oh my gosh it's winter time again so you know hey so here we go folks making the turn at ramble over 10,000 feet, which was the goal, and we are turning on course. All right, let me start looking ahead here. Houston Center, 134425. So when they yell at us, I'm ready to go. 134425. go and I hope you all got your favorite plane joining us as we try to swamp 
Houston. No. Don't think we can do that on this stream, but I'm sure some streams could. But I'd uh, love to do that once, try and see if we can overload them. But then it doesn't get to be fun because they're just frazzled too much. All right. Speaking of which, let us see what we can see on Simaware. Oh, we're uh, pretty much top to bottom. Not bad. This ought to be a fun run down to Houston. We'll have uh, either approach or center to start us off and then tower to land us. Nice. And then we'll make our way to the gate. All right, let me uh, take a look at the latest, greatest ATIS out of this place. 18,000 feet. Still 13 right in use, okay. Archers runway 22, and okay. Curiosity is gonna see if the, the map will load. I don't know what's all behind that. Oh, it did. Wouldn't load this morning. Okay, now I don't show Houston Center up. Even though I show it up here in fact in uh, X Pilot. All right, there we go, folks, through 20,000. All right, I have been remiss and not looking in the chat room much, so let me catch up here real quick. Alright, we are yeah, all caught up and uh, we're set, ready to go. Getting charts all set up here real quick, folks, because when we hit Elver, I am going to... We'll go ahead and do it now. we got just about enough time. Um, let's go to kids. All right, there we go. All right, let's look at this real quick, folks, because that's about the amount of time we're going to have. Here's the charts program. All right, so we're coming down. Neil will be our first straight down the line here. Uh, Max will be at 24,280 or above between 24 and 20. So I plan to be very close uh, here to 24. Still 280 at Eva. 
cha uh, case again still 280 but uh, above 16 but below 19 uh, kids still 14 or 280 but at uh, four, 12 to 14 Sniffy here at 12,270. Then we got quarterback, Rivy, Oz, 10,000. Gulliver, at or above 9. Christie, at or above 6 and 210. All right, and then we vector up to our ILS. Okay, so that is our game plan, folks. Uh... This is the uh, uh, RNAV for all runways, kids for arrival. Um, 18,000 is our transition level, which is everywhere in the U.S. 124.6 or catch it on the web for d -ATIS. Now, once we get our vectors, we're heading up to jabs. Across the top here real quick is our frequencies. I didn't even check to see if we're close. You can, it's up top there. Now, the ILS frequency we're going to set is 110, oh, let me try that again, 111.3. Final approach course, that's this guy right here. 131. Royce, 7 miles out at 2,000 feet on the glide slope. Okay, now our decision altitude and height. The difference here is very simple. The bold is MSL, which is your mean sea level or altitude above sea level. Okay, parentheses, altitude above ground level. Big difference in some places, say El Alto, which is 13,000 feet above sea level. However, the parentheses will say 200 feet for maybe your, I don't know what it is, but it might say 200 feet. That's above the ground. So 13,200 MSL. MSL is what you see on your altimeter. Your above ground AGL is on your radar altimeter. Okay, that's how you do this, folks. And we're 46 feet above sea level. Here's our routing. Oh, wait, in case you want to see the missed approach, it's very simple, out to VUH, VOR. 2,200 feet. Okay, jabs, we need to be um, at or above 2,000 feet. Now, again, Royce, because we have the X marking the spot there for the treasure chest, 2,000 feet on glide step. So if we're on the glide path, we need to be at 2,000 feet. It's a three degree slope. Probably about 150 will be our approach speed. So we're looking at about 800, 815 coming down the glide path if we lose the glide slope. And our missed approach, about two uh, minutes, I'm gonna call it 20-ish seconds because we're, we have to interpolate here, folks. What it's taking is our ground speed. So the time coming down at 2 minutes, 20 seconds, if I don't see the runway, it's a missed approach. And we do the published. Okay, Malzers, Pappies, shouldn't be a factor today. 296, 250, we've already been through that, but we need an RVR higher than 40 or more than 3 quarters of a mile. Again, it has to be ceiling, broken or overcast, 250 or more. No, I went through that pretty quick, folks. There will be a YouTube video out eventually on this. Check it out. All right, let's get our speeds set up because top of descent is not far away. Matter of fact, let's go down here and check. Speak of the devil, 34 minutes out. Real quick. One way to figure your speeds is right here. Go to, uh, not ground, home, fuel, yeah. Performance landing, 13 right. Winds, real quick. I 
hate this when I try to do things real quick. Sorry, folks. Uh, wind down at lobby is... 170 at 9. I got a temperature 24 and altimeter setting of 2982. Okay, now how to do this when it says HEPA? Very simple. Just type 29 decimal decimal 82 enter. Okay, will be flaps 30 air conditioning on off brakes Three speed brakes allowing for five boom that's what I get for hitting the wrong button oh landing weight dang it uh, there's our CG 139 decimal six All right, so we're looking at, like I said, 150 and uh, 1800. We're going to be pretty close to the end when we come to a rest. We may have to go more, folks. All right, so 150. Let's plug it in here real quick. Oh, wait, that's wrong. There we go. All right, and let's get our altitude set. Uh, we said uh, descent. First one is 12,000. Uh, 24. Okay. Stand by, folks. How close are we? We're within 10, I think. Now we are. Let's go ahead. This time... Okay, there's a couple ways to do it. This time, I am going to do altitude intervene. And we're going to start our descent. The other ways to do this, folks, let me make sure I don't have anything blocking your view. I don't. Just zoom in. Okay. In the Boeing aircraft, you may have climb cruise descent. That's a piece of cake. But if you have VNAV, Click VNAV, page through to the descent page. Click it. Now, if I hadn't done the intervene, you would have seen descent now. If you're told by ATC to descend, you can. that's how you do it. Now, if you're one of those out there struggling to figure out how to set your transition level, and folks, anywhere but North America, you got to set that at the right altitudes because of the way ATC is set up there. Go to your descent page, Boeing aircraft. Okay, look for it on your descent page under forecast. Boom. And a lot of these, you can actually set your winds, not here. <clears throat> okay. Now, one other thing you could do if you didn't know the winds, go to your menu, click D-Link, AOC, reports, no, requests, Weather, K H O U. Send. Oops. Message. There you go, folks. There's your weather right now in Houston. Okay, and then we're back to where we were. Just something to show off. That's all I know we can do. Uh, who knows? Maybe Zebo will get more of that functional. It's free, folks, so 
to sit there and complain while I shot down this. It's free, folks. Now, if you want to pay all that money in PMDG and in that simulator, go right for it, you know? But I like free. All right, so we are now descending, and I don't know how close we are to the center. <laughs> so bear with me as I get caught up here. There, uh, no, where are we? Uh, what did I just do? Uh, besides hit the wrong button. Dang, come it. Uh, somewhere. I'm shocked nobody's pegged me yet. Huh. Is center up? Don't know. go. Alright, let me see where we're at though on this. Okay, we're coming up to Eva. Okay, we need to go to 20,000. Alright, now we're caught back up to the plane. leveling off. So all you got to do again, folks, come to the middle here for me. Oh, I think she's continuing. There she goes. Okay. From Eva, we go to Chase. So we're going to watch. Uh, we are right now headed to Bean. Don't have any restrictions on at Bean. Really shocked we're this far in and nothing from anyone. Huh. And I just noticed uh, we lost tower down there, so I'm kind of curious. Are we going to have anybody? Let's just keep going. I don't contact unless contacted. Ooh. Chase, 10 miles. Okay, and that again. Uh, Chase is 16,000. All right, and again, folks, things on a short flight like this happen quickly. 2982. Now, this, if anyone can tell me how to do this in the uh, A319 2021, would love to know. Preset my altimeter so when I get to 18,000, I push standard and it's there. Okay, let's get our speed set. Okay, descent checks. First off, Somebody wants to talk to me, finally. <laughs> oh, and of course, it's a frequency I'm not set up for. On 20. Jeez. Okay, now you guys are kind of irritating me. Well, we'll go this way just for him to say it. Uh, Houston Center, uh, Southwest 27. Uh, ago. Contacting, we're through 17,000 on the arrival for Houston. Or for Hobby, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? We're just going to go to the frequency. I am not playing this game. We're, we're playing a tug of war here. One twenty fifty. 
Okay, uh, approach uh, Southwest 27. We're with you at 16,000 on the arrival for lobby. Okay. What do you want to do? So, 27 Houston approach, squad 2412, hobby altimeter 2982, hobby altimeter. One more time with the. Uh, one more time with the squawk for Southwest uh, 27. Southwest 27, squawk 2412. Okay, 2412, we'll have that in the box, uh, Southwest 27. Descending. That's 27 meter contact, 27 miles southeast of the college station VOR. Expect a visual from my one tree right, hobby altimeter 29082. Uh, visual 13 right for southwest uh, 27. And are we cleared? Uh, copy visual 13 right, and are we clear to continue descent on the uh, uh, child Z? I think this is for uh, uh, four. Plus 27, you mean the kids? Okay, kids, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's 27, Houston. Sorry about that, I keep clicking off on the wrong screen. Yeah, kids four, my bad. I was close. <laughs> you were close. Same thing with Hobby. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't need my clearance to do that unless I restrict your altitude, but I didn't. Um, if you don't mind, can you do me a favor? Check your uh, your text communications and see if Houston Center sent you a contact me. He said he's been trying to get in reach with you, but uh, I've only been able to get to talk to you. He did right after you did. I hadn't got anything prior. Oh, okay. All right. I'll pass the message. Thank you. Yeah, you can keep descending via the arrival, sir, and uh, just expect the visual right once you're at, please. Okay, we'll continue descending, and we'll expect 1-3 right. Southwest 27. Thank you very much. <laughs> you got to actually talk to me, folks. Okay, here we go. We're going to slow down. Because we're too dead going close. <laughs> all the way to six folks actually I think I could yeah we'll go to six oh. no we're not doing good at all on this descent though. and uh Houston departure southwest 152 our flight uh, management computer just deleted everything uh, can we get another IFR clearance who called up Southwest 152. Southwest 152, departure ready, copy. Um, we're, we're requesting uh, uh, IFR clearance to uh, Pensacola with Yankee. Southwest 152, Houston departure, clear to Pensacola Airport. A loco 6 departure, White Lake transition, then as filed. Maintain 5,000, expect flight will tree 7010 minutes after departure. Departure my frequency, squawk 67, tree 1. We're clear to Pensacola via, uh, correction, via logo 6 departure. White Lake transition, and then as filed. Climbing to 5,000, expect flight level 37010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency with you, squawk 2, air squawk 6731.
Alright, where was my 10,000 foot? Oh, we are going to be... Number 880 Fox, try to send a maintain 5,000. A Ellington altimeter, 291. Right, 5,000. All right, here we go, folks. Sorry, I got a little quiet there. A lot going on, as you can tell. I'll be honest, I didn't hear. I never heard Center try to get a hold of me. I even didn't see a text box up here until all of a sudden Approach wanted me, and then Center wanted me, and then Approach, and then Center, and then Center, and then Approach. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> All right, so let's get that frequency in, 1113. Now, how this radio works, folks, set your radio. Delta 111, climbing to the flight level 230. Set your frequency, move it up. Delta 11, Houston departure, right our contact, okay. climb, maintain 15, 15, 16,000, Peter, Looking at 131. 160, Delta 111. Proceed, direct, Jade. It's six. Direct J. Number 880 Fox, trying to send a maintain 3000. Number 880 Fox, Fraud, Ellington South, expect visual rank 17. Uh, what mode would you like? Okay, we're set for three. Good deal on the speed. <laughs> One seven right for eight. Fox will be Number eight eight zero Fox. Try to expect a visual right one seven right. Visual one eight. Welcome right. Hobby eight zero. Houston approach Eagle flight three eighteen. It's got the weather and notams at Hobby flight level one nine zero. Eagle flight three eighteen. Houston approach Roger. Okay. The green arc marks when we'll get to 6,000, which should be Christy. Then we make the turn to Zeus, and then we see what he wants us to do. Now we need to start slowing up to 210. Again, our ILS folks starts and jabs at or above 3,000. It's a seven mile trek to Royce, or at or above 2,000, sorry, and a seven mile trek over to Royce at 2,000. <clears throat> Kids 4 ho, oh, that was great. Pretty close though. All right, we need speed brakes. Number 880 Fox, ready to speed to 210 knots, field 12 o'clock, 5 miles, point of sight. 12 o'clock, 10 miles, sorry. That's to go. All right, we are set up. We got lights on, all right? No, we don't. Seatbelts on, yep. Okay, spoilers aren't going to be armed just yet. We may need them in the descent. So the 111 Houston Center is closed. Minor unit on 122.8, radar service terminated. Take care. 122.8, American at Delta 111. Delta 27, descend to maintain 3000. Out of 6,000, 4, 3,000, uh, Southwest 27. <coughs> 
Mayday Sierra Foxtrot Field, 12 o'clock in 5 miles, report site. All right, folks, here we go. Not sure if he's going to knock us down another one or not. Let's go to Flaps 10. Switching over to the ILS. Southwest 27 to send a maintain 2000. Southwest 27 continuing out of 3900 for 2000. You don't need to tell me the altitude you're currently at when you're descending to an altitude, sir. Uh, Southwest 27 traffic off your right, or not traffic, excuse me, field off your. Four o'clock in seven miles front side. And Southwest twenty seven, we're looking. Southwest 27 has the field. Southwest 27, cleared visual pressure, may want you right. As we go. Cleared visual, uh, 1 3 right, uh, Southwest 27. When in doubt, folks, take the localizer. Still. 25. 8.3 Team Pursuit, Hobby Airport, Sun, maintain 7,000. Direct Hobby down to 7,000, Eagle Flight 318. Delta 27, Romeo Luncher, right clear to line, wind 170 at Niner. Was that uh, clear to land for Southwest 27? Yeah, Southwest 27 on my 1 tree right, clear to land. Clear to land, 1 3 right, Southwest 27. I hate it when I can't see it, folks. The, uh, <laughs> I mean, the sun. Why aren't those any brighter, come to think of it? I just noticed that. Why aren't they any brighter? Huh. All right. Let's go take a look off the nose. By the way, folks, I did not see the runway. I just took the ILS. Oh, 
There's 2,000 coming up on Royce, and we are good. Spoilers arm, brakes arm, clear, three green, laps 25. Aircraft Houston advised. What? All aircraft advised. Houston approach closing at the top of the hour. See what I mean, folks? You can't see them. Oh my gosh, what is controlling those? <laughs> All right. My thing. Oh, there it is. I thought it got tucked behind that cloud. I was going to say, we got a trouble here. All right, we're going to take over speed. guessed it, my plane. Ladies and gentlemen, flight attendants, prepare for landing. One thousand. At least we're not sidestepping like this morning. Okay, visually we're on. Four hundred. ILS wise, we're now on track. Three hundred. Okay, let's start slowing down. Flaps Two hundred. Really hope. One hundred. One hundred. Fifty. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. 10. 80 knots. I'm gonna have to look at that. Hang on. Okay, Southwest 27, Mike 3, Charlie, to and cross 22 to the terminal. <laughs> I had to visualize that, folks. <laughs> Mike. Toughest 27, taxi to parking via Mike 3, Charlie, uh, Yankee, cross from 82 at Charlie. My bad there, Tower. I was, my mouse was set on a different screen. 
We're going via Mike 3 Charlie to the ramp uh, crossing 2-2 two, two right. If you were watching my stream, you would have heard me. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Couldn't resist that one. <laughs> Flight 318, descend to maintain 5,000, report the hobby airport and set up the visual. Okay. 5,318, uh, we'll look for it. We're about, uh, we're pretty far out right now. That's fine. Next with the visual, we want you right. Visual 13 three right, Eagle. Flight 318. Now, at night, this would have been a piece of cake to find. But I flew it. Okay. You on okay, and anything else need to be okay. All right, folks, just uh, reference, uh, we are, this flight, I should say, was going to stand, that don't sound right, hang on. Fifty. So, we'll see what is available, because I know this airport has aircraft at the stands. Try to get this over here in case he calls me. Says, What are you doing now? Clear right and clear left. All right, we are clear of uh, runway 22. And approach uh, Southwest 27's off 22, even though I know it shows closed in NOTAMs. Okay. Hey, I'm supposed to report off runways, dude. You better... Uh, Report for some training. Uh, Hawker. Eagle Flight 318, descend to maintain 2000. Got one for you. <laughs> 3000, Eagle Flight 318. <clears throat> Man, I wish I saw movement lines and I could say, okay, we're on the uh, terminal ramp. Have a great day. Ooh, are those. Uh, <laughs> They weren't. I thought they were for a second, but they weren't, folks. Houston Approach, good evening, JetBlue 2, with you uh, climbing out of 344-4000. JetBlue 2, Houston Approach, over to contact, climb and maintain 16000, proceed direct to Kentucky. Kentucky, climb and maintain 16000, JetBlue 2. And this will be one Flight of those. Flight 318, over to contact, lost? Never mind, that was a prank. Field Flight 318, clear to the first one three right. Air to visual approach one three right, Eagle Flight 
Flight 318, runway 1, shoot right, clear to land, wind 170 at manner. 1, 3, right, clear to land, Eagle Flight 318. Alright, do I get smart with them and say I'm leaving or stay on channel? What do you think? I'm going to infer the wrath. Approach uh, Southwest 27's into blocks. Have a great night. You too. <laughs> I'll inj Not even going to tell you where I am. All right, so we are here, folks. Let's do the uh, shutdown procedures. Okay, I know I forgot a couple, but I think the radars are off. No, they're not. Oh, well. Transponder. Off. Really curious why why my um, lights aren't on for the uh, these radios and brighter up here. Why I can't control them? Which one am I missing? Missing a light switch, and I don't know which one, folks. Chart. All right. Well, anyway, we're into blocks. Let's see. Any ice window heaters? Uh, we can turn the probe heats off now. Yaw dampers going off. Okay, they're on. Left and right. Uh, wait, this shut down. All right, we're on the bleeds, we're on the gens, so we can shut her down. At a gate where they don't work. If you ever see this, folks, where the um, air tube is on the ground, the jetway doesn't work. Curious. Let's go to. I'm just going to look real quick. Looks like quite a bit of them here at lobby don't work. Okay, cool. All right, that's cool. And over here, let's go to ground service. Actually, you know what? We'll leave it. Just uh, open the door. Terminate the flight. Okay, put it back close. Because what we're going to do is we're going to rewind it. The good thing is if I left fat sim on, it automatically disconnects. But anyway, um, we are here. Let's do some quick looks. See how this looked metrics-wise with uh, our... Uh, friend here at sim toolkit good thing is i don't have to listen to grumpy sim toolkit there it is let's go ahead and get rid of x pilot all right now dallas is up and hopefully 
to the chagrin of everyone around, approach is gone. All right, so you can see how the route went. Light summary, close up. Okay, then once you get to your logbook page, click the flight you want, view details. I said view details. Full landing report. Us. Uh, okay, there we go. All right. Now you heard me kind of talking this down a little bit. What to be looking for? Because when we came into Dallas, love, this was like sun bleached and you couldn't see anything. This, folks, is a displaced threshold. So I could taxi down and around, come on here take off from back there but to land you start at the threshold going forward here okay every one of these hash marks are 500 feet down the runway this one i pointed out in inbound that's what we're aiming for to touch down at. you can see they're especially here pretty close i landed pretty much in the thick of the black here and we were just under 1600 feet down the runway not bad when you're talking 7,600. And I was about four feet to the right, so I really hit it right in the center. So this is a pretty good landing, folks. 150 feet a minute, so I'm tickled about that. Um, these hash marks, what I want you to do in your mind, imagine, uh, you got to be a golfer here, folks. This is what a golfer told me once. Real good golfer, actually. When you golf specific courses and or the pros go and, you know, they get those caddies, these guys know the courses. And if they know their course, they know things about it. Like that tree, uh, those bushes are so many, what is it, yards to the, to the hole. So they know where they are. So if they're, you know, at a certain distance, they know, well, I can't use this club, but I could use this one. Think of it the same way on a runway. Okay, so you're 500 feet down. Oh, we're 1,500 here. 2,000. Okay, now you don't see anymore. That is the end of what is termed the landing zone. You can see they kind of went on after. It's not a requirement. However, look what happens on the other end. They come back. You start seeing them on a short runway. You might want to think about binders because you're going to go off if you don't, if you're not careful landing long. High speed taxiway is what we got off here at Mike 3. Here's where we taxi. Kind of looks like a gravel, <laughs> like we taxied in dirt, but it was concrete. But anyway, that gives you a little lay of the land. We couldn't do that at Dallas, so uh, could here. All right, time to see if Zebo is going to be nice or naughty. Let's get rid of Sim Toolkit first. Let's go ahead and get rid of the overlay up top there, too. All right, folks, what we're going to try here is something that X-Plane has that the others don't inside the Sim right out of the bat. You don't have to download this. You don't have to pay for this other than what you paid for the sim. Um, it's there. And you can record from the time. You can go all the way back to when you fired the sim up. Started in Dallas, love. Or you can start up like we're going to do wherever you want along the way. The parameters for that other program set the other sims use. You got to fire them up in route. Where you start it is where is as far back as you can go. And it's limited how far back you can go. And uh, you have to remember to set the plane up exactly before you do it. Here you don't necessarily have to. All right, so let's give it a try. Again, X-Plane 12 is, is in general release, but it is still, you know, getting updates. So, uh... Sometimes it crashes to desktop. Darn, I forgot to come off that soon. But it automatically disconnects. Okay, so let's do it. Q 
gear up. Let's just start from here. Gears coming down. And we'll use my favorite music for this. The grand finale. But again, folks, I hope you enjoyed the ride while we're getting in here. If you did, you're on Twitch, smash that One follow button. button. If you're watching this on YouTube, smash that subscribe button. Love to see you all on the next flights. 500, 400, 300, 200. Right, let's see how this looks. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Not bad. Nice little thump in there, but you know, hey. Get up closer to the threshold. All right, that wasn't too bad. One more time. Then we're going to look from the uh, other windows. bad feeling that was going to happen.
Well, folks, that looked like a beautiful landing there. Folks, welcome again to Houston. And thank you for flying with Mike, and I really hope you had a great time. I really hope we're able to get in the air Wednesday, but I'm not 100% sure. So, uh, again, thank you so much for coming out tonight, being a part of flying with Mike. Uh, we always have a blast wherever we fly to. So, I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you all have a great Tuesday tomorrow. We'll see you maybe Wednesday, but for sure on Thursday and Sunday. So again, smash that follow button, smash that uh, subscribe button. Love to have you in our next... Uh, if you're on uh, YouTube, down below in the notes, you'll see how to see us on Twitch live. Scroll down to the schedule, and hopefully I've got it up to date so you can be a part of us. I'm not trying to exclude you. That's how you find out. Or our Discord channel. Y'all have a great night, and God bless. And I would be remiss before I head off and say thank you, Flying Glider. I wasn't able to get to it earlier today, but thank you for following us in our first show out of Omaha. Hope you all have a great night. God bless. See you for sure Thursday.